everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Manchester by the Sea. So Manchester by the Sea is written and directed by Kenneth Lonergan, who is actually the same guy that wrote The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. I am not kidding. The film stars Casey Affleck, Michelle Williams, Lucas Hedges, and Kyle Chandler. So Manchester by the Sea tells the story of this man played by Casey Affleck. His brother, aka his nephew's father, passed away. He has to see if there could maybe someone else that could be his nephew's guardian since Casey Affleck wants no part of this. Not only does Casey Affleck have to take care of everything regarding his brother, but he also has to deal with a very dark past that haunts him forever. So Manchester by the Sea is a film I actually had a lot of interest in and it was before it was getting some Oscar buzz. I really want to see how this film would turn out and I gotta say this film would really impress me. I was really impressed by how this film was told. And this film is two hours and 17 minutes long. This is a very lengthy movie, and I'll get more into the pacing, but I gotta say, for the most part, this is actually a very well-paced movie. I actually will say that even when I wasn't into the movie that much, once again, I'll get into that a little bit later, it was actually still pretty well-paced. I actually wasn't really bored once watching this film. The storyline is very interesting to me. I found myself very compelled by what was happening on screen. I did find myself caring for the characters, even if they're not the most likable characters per se, but you actually do understand why. Casey Affleck especially, you understand why he acts the way he is. When the movie begins, he just is so unlikable. It's just hard to get into this guy. He's just very mean to everyone, but then you find out why and you see why he acts that way because he has a dark past which of course I won't spoil but when you see this dark past that's revealed around like the 45 or 50 minute mark of the movie it's wow it's really heartbreaking this film really is hard to watch at times because it really is such a realistic movie this is a story of human life People go through hard things in life. It's a very great movie showing that a mistake that you make in life can really haunt you forever. This is just such a refreshing story. Yes, this is a sad movie. I could see how maybe not everyone is able to sit through a movie like this, but if you really look into the story and you really just take the time to just invest in it what you get is honestly a movie that's truly special the performances are great casey affleck he's terrific here he really gives it his all in this role he's really believable as this man that isn't likable but you understand why because of a dark past and the emotions that he's able to convey in this role is seriously impressive. Lucas Hedges as his nephew is also terrific. He adds a little bit of comic relief here and there. There's a few times where I chuckled with him. I thought he portrayed his character very well. Kyle Chandler, who is not in this film that much, he is actually really good for what he has. And Michelle Williams, once again, like Kyle Chandler, not in this film that much. She maybe has like 15 minutes of screen time all together but for those scenes she brings it man she brings it especially this one scene with her and Casey Affleck and I think everyone knows what this one scene is but that one scene almost almost made me cry I was almost gonna tear up because of how heartbreaking that was. That was some serious powerhouse acting right there. The direction by Kenneth Lonergan is terrific. So many amazing shots in this film. The way he's able to take you in the story really is so impressive to me. And cinematography, yes, definitely. 
This is one of the best looking movies, honestly, of 2016. I'm talking about how sad this film is, but this film isn't always just, oh, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad. This movie actually does have moments where it's a little more light, you could say. They try to um, not always be all depressing. You know, there's moments where there's a little bit of humor going for it. Like, there's a couple of moments with Casey Affleck and Lucas Hedges when they're talking to each other, and I was kind of laughing watching it. Like, yeah, sad things definitely happen, and man, when this movie gets sad, it's... Yeah, it's really sad, but when this movie goes more light, it's really nice because this movie does show that even though sad things, bad things can happen in life, you know, there are good things that happen and we can't always just sit here and blaming life. We can't always just sit here and think life is a bad thing because no, it's not. And even with the darkness that happens, we can conquer them. We can defeat the darkness. And that's why I connected so much to Manchester by Sea because I could connect, honestly, to things like that. It's just a very great movie about consequences, about life, about sticking together. That's what really stuck with me. Now, the only problems I will say I have with Manchester by the Sea is mainly like the first 45 minutes. Like I said, even when I wasn't really into this movie, I wasn't bored per se with the first four or five minutes. It's not something that bored me. I could, I could still sit there and watch the movie, but I just wasn't really getting into it. But once we do get to that scene when Casey Affleck meets up with the lawyer, that's when the film found its footing, and that's when the film got really, really strong, and it became very compelling starting from that point. And I will say there is a subplot dealing with Lucas Hedges where he's with two girlfriends, like, yeah, he has two girlfriends and all that. And I could have done, honestly, without that, because I was really loving the scenes with him and Casey Affleck. I was really loving the scenes with Casey Affleck dealing with his grief, with him dealing with his grief. But anytime the movie gets to Lucas his hedges with one girlfriend and him with another. I didn't think that was really necessary. Overall, Manchester by the Sea is a great film. It, for the most part, has an engaging storyline. The film has terrific performances from everyone. And although it may be a depressing watch, not everything in this film is all depressing. There is actually some light to shine this film. It's a great film about consequences. It's a great film about dealing with grief. Kenneth Lonergan, credit to him for the writing and direction because it is spot on here. And Matt Damon is the producer for this film too because originally he was supposed to take on the lead role for what I read but it went to Casey Affleck and I think that was great on Matt Damon's part. Manchester by the Sea is going to get three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Manchester by the Sea. Also you guys, on Universe of the Blue Tubers, I did rank all of the Best Picture nominees on the day of the Academy Awards, and it's a video I personally loved filming and editing. So just click on one of the links that's right here and it'll take you there. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, you guys, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.